you make people like these like a brand like this? That was the problem facing Telstra, Australia's largest telco. 18 to 25 year olds see it as boring and corporate, their mum and dad's brand. How about some marshmallow rice squares? So how to change their minds? Traditional advertising? Forget it. We needed to try something different. So we took this and crashed this into it. And Kabioki was born. Ten cabs in two cities. Welcome to a world first this evening. Kabioki cabs offered young people a ride for a song. Why? because it's the sort of thing mum and dad wouldn't do. Where not seeing the point of it was, well, the point of it. A random shot of fun from someone they least expected. The media spend was small. A viral. And big girls don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. Some short TVCs. and a website that documented late night rides. It let people view, rate and rank the different bands. Every week we gave a prize to the cream of Kabioki, which sounded like a soup, but wasn't. We discovered the good, the bad, and the ridiculous. New conversations started. In Sydney at the moment, there's one particular cab, and if it picks you up, the party has just started. And a cynical, dismissive audience engaged with Telstra in new ways. For the first time in a long time, young people were happy to be associated with Telstra. OK, we haven't unearthed the next big thing. But we have made a boring brand suddenly seem like fun. And for Telstra, that's one big thing indeed.